This is Chris. I hope they call by it. Hope they hope they call by it. What up? What up? What up? What's up, Flag Le Real Estate? What's up, Al Ramsey? How are you today? It's Monday. It's your favorite day. Yep, 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 yep. So I'm trying to call some uh, real estate agents back. Uh, I sent out a couple of messages over the weekend. In regards to asking, um, you know, would they consider um, if there was a way that I can make sure that the real estate agent gets their commission, would they be willing to submit a creative offer to their seller? Some of them said yes. Some of them said, I don't know. Who is this calling? I don't even know who this is. Hurry up. Hello, thanks for calling. Hello. Out. Yeah, which one you got there? You say, do we still want it? Yeah. It's, is it still available for sale? Yes. Okay. Great, great. Um, did we speak to you about it already before? No. Oh, okay. All right, good, good. So you say, let me make sure, let me pull it up here. Um, tell me a little bit about the house. Does it need any repairs or anything? Yes. Oh, okay. Is someone living there now is it, or is it vacant? Yes, I'm living here now. Oh, okay. Great, great. All right. So um, what what kind of repairs do you think it needs to get it uh, up and, you know, caught all up to 2020 standards? Uh, a new roof and a, a new back porch. A roof and a back porch. In regards to the roof, is it just because it's older or is there actual water coming into the building already? Uh, it just needs a new roof. Okay, okay. Have you had somebody look at it already and, and everything? Yeah. Uh, oh, all right. What did they tell you that was going to cost about? Uh, 10000 Okay. And I, don't, I can't afford it right now. So I'm trying to get rid of it while it's still, you know. While it's still livable. Bring huh? me something. I know, that's right. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, and then uh, about how much did you still owe on it? Nothing. I don't owe nothing. Oh, okay. So it's actually free and clear? That's good. Well, congratulations. Some people never yeah. get to that point. Okay, uh, great, great. And so um, if we were able to work out everything, how soon would you like to close? Uh, <laughs> wow. I, I, I don't know nothing about what you're talking about. I'd have to discuss that with my wife. I know that, right? We don't want to get you in no trouble. We got to check with the boss, right? Yeah. Okay. Great, great. So you say, so I guess it's you and your wife, and um, I was just asking if we were able to work out everything, you know, I guess do you have a place to move to already and everything, or? No, I don't, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll cross that bridge when it happens. I know that's right. And then what do you think you were trying to get for your house? Just 35. You said 35,000? Yeah. Okay. 35000 And then if you don't mind me asking, where did you come up with that amount? Because we paid a little more than that for it. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. How long have you uh, lived there? 14 years. Oh, all right. So you've seen uh, the area change and shift all around, huh? 
No, I'm just too old to keep up with a house. Right. Well, that definitely can be a burden. So um, I don't know if you know much about us. So what we do is buy houses for cash in any condition, regardless of how much you owe. And you say you don't owe anything on it, and you want to get about 35000 for it. don't owe anything. Okay. And you don't owe anything. And then um, as far as timeline, you know, are you thinking you want to be have the house sold and done with it and say, uh, what, the next 30, 60 days? Or what kind of timeline were you on? 60 days, whatever. 60 days, okay. Great, great. Yeah. All right, and um, and let me ask you this. Would you, uh, and I know you might have to check with your wife, would you consider taking a monthly payment for it until you were paid off in full? Oh, no, because uh, I, I want to be, you know, I want to be what I was going to do was uh, pay the gas, electric, and, and you know, to want to be a, make them at zero, and you just take out. Great, great. Okay. And so you're saying the only way that you would sell it is, is all cash. Is that correct? Right. Okay, not a problem. So um, what I'm going to do here, what was your name again? Carlton. Carlton. And my name is Chris. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, take the information you gave. Um, let's see here. How many bedrooms and bathrooms is it there? Bedrooms and one bathroom. Two bedroom, one bath. Okay, perfect, perfect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go run some comps or comparable home sales in the area and try to figure out, you know, what we can actually offer for it. Um, and then how we go about taking a look at this property um, to take a look at it to see as far as the repairs. Whenever you want, you feel like. Okay. I just want to be gone. So you just want to get out of there. And does the wife feel the same or what? Yeah. What, what does she feel about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. she feels the same. Right. We and just don't want to lose. I know, that's right. And, you know, with the house needing those repairs and everything, are you flexible on that 35000 or you got to be solid in on it? No. I, the farthest I go is thirty. 30k okay so yeah let me do a little research first i'm going to check like i say the comps and comparable home sales in the area so we can determine what we can offer for it um and then this is the best number to reach you back at here this one starting in 327 yes okay so what i'm going to do like i say is check that out and i'll give you a call back here shortly is that okay yes all right perfect thank you a lot carlton uh, you'll hear from me shortly all right. Bye bye. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another real estate video. So I was making a call out in some kind of way. I ended up getting a call in from somebody else from a ringless voicemail drop that we dropped previously. Wasn't expecting that call at all. I was calling a real estate agent for another house, and that call came in out of nowhere. Like, who is this? So, looking at this house here, thirty-five thousand sounds kind of high. I'm sorry, I got him to downgrade himself. I asked him, "Is do you have any room on it?" And you know, you see what I asked him. He said, "Well, the lowest I'll take is 30. 30 still saying kind of high, but we. I'm not going to jump to conclusion. I'm going to do the due diligence like we do anything. But I would assume that thirty thousand is probably too high over there. So let's see here. TJ, what up, what up? Myers Monopoly, what up, what up? Behind the Lens TV, what's up, everybody? The Real K Quick, good to see you, bro. I see you sliding in on the Chris Monroe Show. Don't forget, we're going live tonight with Willie Coleman, the 19-year-old real estate investor out of South Carolina, doing $100,000 months and stuff out there. Damn! At 19 years old, wholesaling real estate. We got that tonight, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. Make sure you're tuned in live for that. We're going to be streaming live on the YouTube channel at Chris Monroe STL. The same name as it is on all social media at Chris Monroe STL. And then somebody just called private. And I don't have a private call. It might be lady I was looking for. Let me see. Who was that that just called? What happened there? I don't like calls coming in private. We don't do private calls, bro. Especially not on this phone. 
So, okay, bet. So, yeah, Monday Motivation. That's tonight. That's right, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. Tonight we're on with Willie Coleman. The next Monday, the 18th, we're on with the Fire Damage King, Mr. <coughs> we're on with the Fire Damage King, Elijah Rubin. Elijah Rubin doing on fire damage properties, getting multiple checks. He's going to break that down for us on the 18th. The following week, the 25th of June, we're going to be on with um, Miss, who we're on with on that day. We're talking about probate. Oh, my God, hold on. Now my phone want to blow up. I think that's that lady calling me back. I don't know who it is calling me uh, black like that. So then we'll be on with uh, Miss uh, Law Clerk on Demand at Law Clerk on Demand on Instagram. We'll be on with her talking about probate on the 25th of June. Then June, I'm sorry, the 25th of May. I'm trying to jump into June already. The 25th of May. Then June 1st, we're on with the Mobile Home Elite Investors talking about mobile home investing. You know they hitting it good. They out of Chicago, but they're going to come bless the audience with that. And then also, let's see, who else we got scheduled? The, the 15th of June, we're on with, uh, who we're on with that day? What's her name? I forgot her name. That's bad, huh? Yana Epps. We're on with Yana talking about apartment investing. So, yeah, we got a lot of lineup coming up for you every Monday night, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. And if you want to be notified of when that goes down, you get a text message right in your phone. All you got to do is text JV to 31996. Text the keyword JV to 31996. And we'll be uh, and you'll get the uh, notification, and you'll get some free real estate documents, some joint venture agreements, and things like that. All right, let's see what we got here. Ashley says, "I watched one of your videos and got my first lease option. Thanks for your value, Chris. Uh, uh, no, you didn't, Ashley. You ain't take no action on that stuff. I'll be talking. Uh, uh, you wouldn't do that. Uh, uh, let me see. Can you come on alive or no? I gotta hear about this. I'm sorry. I know you like. I don't come on live." Let me see if I can request it. He'll be like, I don't want to get on the TV, man. So you. Ashley. Oh, she fell off. Came in and fell off. What happened? Did I do that? Let me try again. I don't know if that was me doing it. Might have been me. Might have been user error. You never know. Could have been me. Could have been you. What you going to do? What you going to do? Uh oh. Right, you got me on the live looking crazy. Oh, don't worry about it. Show me them numbers. Look at them checks. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, <laughs> you ain't yes. looking crazy. How are you? I'm good. I am good. Thank you for asking. So you said you looked at one of my videos and went and got a first lease option deal. I've been following you on Facebook for a while, um, and I have a lease option in North Carolina. Hold on. And I got a lease option in North Carolina. So thank you so much. I've been following all of your information from Facebook. I didn't even know I had you on um, on Instagram. I've been following you on Facebook, but I just seen you on live on Facebook. So I was like, let me hop on and um, just thank you so much for everything, all the value that you give out here. Seriously. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Taking action. How hard is it to watch a few videos and take some action? Take action. That's it. Just take action. Do it. Don't say you're going to do it. Don't analysis paralysis. None of that. Just do it. Nike. Wow. So you went and you, uh, how did you find that seller? I mean, what did you do? Just marketing for him or some cold call come across that person? Oh, they got knocked off somehow there. <laughs> Let me see here. I don't know how this thing keep doing it. I don't go live that much on here, do I? Let me try this again if that works. Technology. Sorry, it forced quit on me. <laughs> they trying to stop you from being great, but we going to keep them up late. And stay woke before we wind up broke. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Going on and actually taking action. Mm, 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 mm. So nevertheless, everybody, hopefully you're having yourself a great day. Like I said, we're going to be on tonight. And uh, I'm going to make a couple of these things. And don't let me join it then. It was a deal from the Facebook group, though. Okay, Ashley, cool, cool. Yeah, hit me up in the inbox. We're going to bring you on the show, talk about your deal, if we can, on an actual, you know, format it. We'll bring you in and, and, and talk about your deal. Because, you know, people learn from other deals and other experiences and other trials and tribulations of others. So hit me in the DM when you get a chance. So, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Found me on Facebook, watched a bunch of videos, and took action. How hard is that? How hard can that be? 
I tell people all the time, you can learn all this stuff if you never get up off your butt, get on that phone, and make a deal. Talk that talk. Even if you mess up, you can mess up and stumble into some money. Stumble into a check. Stumble into some respect on my name. All right? So that's what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see, people doing good things out here. So, you know, if you don't follow on Facebook, you know, we got the Facebook group as well, the Woke Real Estate Investors Facebook group. It's a free Facebook group. Go join it. Woke, W-O-K-E, Real Estate Investors on Facebook. Actually, the link's in my bio or description here. So you can always go check it out there. Join in. We're always on there talking that real estate talk. If you got questions, you're working on some, either me or somebody else in there with experience, may can help you out. You never know. I tell people to get the you know free education first, and then if you can't handle it from there and you want to get more advanced, that's when I tell people to go into the coaching and all of that other stuff. But it's really not required if you take the time to go watch the videos. We got over 175, I think over 180 videos now. It's been going up. We're going to be over 200 soon, probably before the month is out. We'll see how that works. But uh, yeah, free videos, wokerealestate.com. Go check it out or go on the YouTube channel. So, yeah, let's see what I got here. What's up? What's up? How's it going? KY the King. Good to see you. Let me see if I got anybody else in here to call. Oh, actually, I don't need to call. I need to. Um... Oh, my VA is on the phone with somebody right now, my virtual assistant. So let me see. I'm going to call this uh, lady back that didn't answer the first time, see if I can get her to answer this phone this time. What was her number? This is a real estate agent. So this deal or what I'm working on here is a house. Um, actually, this house, the best thing on IG. Who is? Who is Queen Green? Who the best thing on IG? You? Me? We? <laughs> I'm silly. So, yeah, so this deal I'm working on right here is a, a lady. It's actually a house that I uh, talked to the sellers of this property probably about a year ago. And lo and behold, they're still trying to sell this house. So I was looking through some expired listings and, you know, just, just looking through data because, you know, sometimes you just see stuff and it's like, that address looked familiar. So I looked it up and I see that they got it listed on the MLS for $69,000. they have been trying to sell it. So I messaged the um, real estate agent, says the house still available, emailed her. She wrote back and said, yes, it is, but the bank will not accept less than 63500 the bank will not accept less than 63500 That's what the real estate agent wrote me back. So I say, I assume that they are approved for a short sale because I think they owed a little bit more than it. Um, and then I said, if there is a way that I can make sure you get your commission up front, would you be willing to present a creative offer to your sellers? Even though, like I said, I spoke to these sellers probably a year ago. They got it listed with an agent now, and I want to present them with the creative terms deal where we just take over those payments. Because it's a nice house, matter of fact. I can show you the house real quick, I think. Let me see. Can I show you the house? Or do I want to show you the house? That's the question. It's a nice little cute little house. Uh, let me see here. This house is, and I'll show, let me put this note on here because I got to run the comps for that guy I just spoke to. Monday, I'm supposed to be this busy. Let me see here. That was um, the house over here in University City. Is that U City? I don't know where this house is at. So let me show you what the house looks like. Cute little house right here. Cute little house. It's been vacant for a while. Like they've been trying to sell this house, I want to say over a year. I mean, it doesn't look like a bad house to me. I mean, do it look bad to you? I mean, it's out of date on some stuff, but hey, that's a perfect candidate for my program. Is Can somebody move in it and, and spruce it up a little bit, clean it up a little bit, back in that carpet? I mean, it needs some a little bit of stuff, but I can deal with a house like this. What's up, Green Jeans Catering? Good to see you. But like, you see, that house don't look too bad, do it? I'm like, shoot, I'll take over this payments on this house. And they've been trying to sell it, and they're trying to short sell it and do all this other stuff. I'm like, man, that house could be sold right now. Take these terms. I catch that loan up, them few thousand dollars they behind. Hopefully, it ain't nothing too much. But that's what it looked like. Cute little house right there. And you see, they say the value is about 67000 and they damn near asking that. But I ain't. I don't want to pay that. But, you know, if they take these terms, I'll pay it. Take over the payments. Cute house right there, ain't it? What do you think about that house? Would you live there? Would you live there? Would you live there, up in her? 
What's up, Maxine? What's up, Angela Mason? Good to see you. What's up, R.E.I. Jameson? No tricks. Good to see you as well. So, um, yeah, so that's the house that I was trying to call. But then while I was calling, somebody called me back and they wanted to do something. So, you know, there's be so many moving parts. That's why it's so important to have structure in this stuff. And uh, because, you know, you have a lot of moving parts and you can forget what you said here or forget what you said there. That's why all of our calls are recorded for quality and training purposes. Uh, let's see here. Dodge Girl says, what amount of commission do you offer realtors for those deals? Well, I don't really offer anything. I try to uh, negotiate. You know, I try to see if they I mean, what do they want? You know, what do they want? I never, uh, I try to negotiate it if I can, but you know, it's all about what do they want? Everything we do in my business is ask good questions. I don't know nothing. I just know to ask. I mean, what do you think you can do on the commission? Can you work with me on it? I would ask the, the, the uh, agent that if we was able to do something, because I don't know if this is a deal or not yet. She just said she would consider it like I just read off the email. But let me try to see if I can get her on the phone again, because she didn't answer the first time. Now, why she didn't answer, I don't know. I think this was the number I called right here. Is this it? Oh, yeah. Call. Record the calls for quality and training. We're going to call from the pretty house line. And let's begin. Uh-oh. Call. Dang, stupid. Okay, there we go. Let's call her. So, yeah, I just ask good questions. That's what I try to do. I don't really offer anything. Even on my offers, I ask questions on it. My offer is a question. Please press one to connect to. What was her name? Patty? Patty May, what up? Hello? I don't know what that was. Let's hang up and try again. Just a step off and try again. Let's try again. Google Voice. Google Voice will try to connect you. This is Chris. And she won't answer the phone, so I don't know. I don't know what to say. So I'm going to wait on her. Matter of fact, let me say, write her number down. Why this pen going up? Done pen. Let me get another pen. I have a bunch of them. So that was Patty636. Because she had another number on the listing, but that's going to their office. So I looked her up. That's the thing when you're dealing with real estate agents. You can always Google them and find out their email address, find out their phone number, cell phone numbers. Usually you can reach a real estate agent, but she's kind of hard to reach for some reason. I guess she'll call back when she's ready. So let's see if I got a, what else is going on over here. Oh, uh, okay. I see what happens. That was my VA calling. Let me call her back. You want to hear me talk to my virtual assistant? <laughs> I don't need to call her back, really, but I could. She's on the phone right now, so I can't call her back. She's on the phone with somebody. So what I'm going to do now is um, let me do the comps for this house that we just got through talking to for this thing. It's a lot of moving parts on this video. How much time we got? Let me see. How long have we been on here? Oh, 24 minutes. Too long. So let's see here. So the guy that was called in while I was doing the other thing, uh, let's see here. About that house, it says it's worth about 43000 but I don't believe that. I'm not over there. So I'm going to go on here, and that's what these houses sell for. So this is, as a matter of fact, let me make sure the settings are right first. Hold on. So I'm going to change it to six months, which is October 2019, right? October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Oh, no, it's past October. I need to go into November. 
December, January, February, March, April, May. That's six months. So six months back, and I'm going to show you on my screen here. Six months back, maximum of two bedrooms, maximum of, well, it's only two houses anyway. So they say this is what the houses are selling for over there right now. And that's according to the MLS. But I'm going to change this and put it on both. And it didn't change. It went down. It went less. <laughs> so we got three houses that sold over there. So 30000 is probably way too high. So I need to get this house for around 10000 I kind of figured that when I was on the phone with them. And I don't know. You know, I, I want to be honest with them. We're going to be, and probably going to be less than that. Because remember, he said he need a roof. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't even say that. Let me look and see what the condition of what it was of these properties that sold before I jump to conclusion. But I already knew it wasn't going to be a lot of money. That 30000 he asked is kind of high. So this house, this comparable property needed some work. As you can tell, this is a comparable property that sold over there. And this one sold for, I think, 15000 I said. And it's another little raggedy house. So it needed a lot of work. He said our house needs a roof, and most houses do. He said, I want to get from Monday for the roof cave in on me. And a ten thousand dollar roof kind of high. I think I can get it done for about sixty five hundred. But I wouldn't even want to do it. I would rather uh do some other strategy. I would rather buy their house on terms. So this is a comparable house to the house that we were looking at that the guy's asking thirty thousand for it. Dreaming, not happening. So if I go to the next property, let me see who else. Sold. So yeah, that one was that first one that sold for 15. Now I'm going to try this one that sold for 14. Nine. This house here. Another comparable property with fireplace. These houses dry. Oh, this mug ain't even got a bathroom. Forget an old bathroom. It's already been removed. You got to put in a new sink. Actually, might as well just do the whole bathroom over. Put a new bathroom in there. Kitchen don't look too bad. I mean, that can be refreshed. Put you some new handles and stuff on there. A gas oven right there can go installed. So this house sold for fourteen nine. Now I don't know what the condition of our property is in in uh, contrast to this one. What's up, Tony the closer? What up, man? Congratulations on that hundred thousand followers, man. I'm on my way to five thousand followers. I'm coming up. No. <laughs> so yeah, so this um property here, this dude, they already took the bathrooms out of here and everything. So I don't know what they're gonna do. So in, in regards to this property, this guy say he wants thirty thousand. I already know, and I ain't even gotta see the house. We need to be around ten or preferably in single digits. If I can get it locked up for like around six, seven grand, I know we got a deal. But if we going to do it, you know, anything more than that is too. Somebody always calling in. Somebody always trying to interrupt my show. So, yeah. Um, so for this particular deal, I need to be in the single digits. I mean, wouldn't you agree? If the ARV is about, well, they say on here the estimated value is about 43. And that's probably right. But those houses in that area don't really go like that. So th that's why it's so important to know your market. In this particular market or in this part of town of St. Louis, these houses are rental houses most of the time. Section 8, landlords, things like that. These not, are not houses that are flipped, like bought and sold on a retail market. Not too often. Not in this part of St. Louis because this is North City. When you get up in the north side, things change, you know. That's why they want to make it, you know, keep the prices, in a, like I say, in a single digits. That's probably where I need to be in reality. But I wouldn't want to be no more than about ten grand. Because I don't even think I could sell it for but about maybe 15 or maybe 20 if I get lucky. But I don't want to get lucky. I want to know we got a deal. Now, if this seller is um, able to take a monthly payment for it, we can get them more money. But if you want to get that cash offer, baby, you know I'm knock them down low. So I don't know. Should I call them back and tell them how the bad news or the good news or what? Should I tell them the bad news or just uh, 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 what? Or just uh, let me see here. What's up, Vince? What's up? What's up? So, yeah. What's up, Tay? So, I don't know. I think I'm going to call him back now. Let's give him the bad news. Give him the bad news, man. Give him the bad news. Let me see here. Where was his number at? Plus, we got to remember his wife is involved as well. He already told us when we spoke to him on the phone, yeah, it's my wife and this and that. And I'm going to be honest with him that we can't touch it for that kind of money. 
one step funding. What up? You say one step, so I don't even need a credit score. You'll fund me. <laughs> fund me on this raggedy house right here we're trying to buy, which I don't even really want to buy. I'm a wholesale this thing because I don't really uh, buy these properties in this area. These are, like I say, these are for more so uh, Section 8 type landlords and stuff like that in this area. Or somebody who want to live in the area. That's the only person that can really do this house. Tell them the real news. <laughs> That's all I can do. Give them the news and let them choose. You want the gun or you want the knife, baby? All right, let me get them back on here. Let me check one more thing real quick. Yeah, the houses in the area are only selling for around 10 grand or selling around 15 grand. That's what I'm going to tell them. Bad news. All they can say is no to this offer. Let's make them an offer on the fly. Y'all ready? Let me know. Say, put in ready if you're ready. Let me know you really want to let this dude locked up or get this offer declined because I don't know what he's going to say. He might say, hey, I'm not selling my house that cheap. He might be motivated and say, all right, I'll do it. You never know. So let me call him right now, I guess. Where does dude number go? You say, they ready. Get them, on, get them locked up. All right, all right. Let's see here. He going to probably be like, hey, I'm not selling my house that cheap. But hey, it ain't my problem, bro. It ain't my fault. Tum, 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 tum. And so, like I said, this lead came in back from an old ringless voicemail drop, which I don't even know when it dropped because I know it came in on that phone line. It came all the way back from a ringless voicemail drop. We might have dropped last week or whenever. He called back and said, yeah, y'all still want that house? And I'm like, huh? Yeah, we want that house. What you got? <laughs> I went on and went with the flow. Let's see. Everybody say they ready. Since he mentioned paying down the utilities, ask him how much those are. If those are a reasonable amount, offer to pay those and pay him a little beyond that. Exactly. Yeah, what are the utilities? Good one there. Good one, uh, Maxine. You've been studying. You've been out here studying, huh? You out here doing some old woke stuff. So let's see if we can get them locked up. I'm going to fly. He's going to be like, hell no. Please press one to connect. What was his name? Carlton? Carlton. 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 <laughs> And it does have him and his wife on the, on a the deed here, so. Now he don't want to answer. Am I calling the right number? Hope so. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three. I'm going to give him a second to call him right back. Get that check and get him right back. Yeah, I'm, that's name, Carlton. Carlton Sheets. He going to teach me some real estate. <laughs> so, yeah, he got a, let's see here. Why him and his wife got two different last names? What kind of crap is that? I guess she said she like her name. She don't want to switch her name over. I'm going to give him a minute and call him back again. So you think, so don't forget, if this video provides you any type of value, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share, hit that little arrow down there, drop it in somebody's inbox, and let them know we live. And like I said, tonight we'll be live again, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern, with Willie Coleman, the 19-year-old real estate investor, doing $100,000 months in real estate wholesaling. Crazy. Yikes. Watch that on the YouTube channel at Chris Monroe STL. We'll be streaming it on Facebook. We'll be streaming it in the Woke Real Estate Investors Facebook group as well. We'll be streaming it on Periscope. So we're on all the channels. And I might even start it on here for the first 10 minutes or so. But if you want the full experience, it's going to be showing at Chris Monroe STL on the YouTube. 7 o'clock Central Time tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern. Let's see if we can get him on the phone again. Answer this phone, boy, so I can give you this bad offer. Give him this bad offer. Please press one to connect to three. If he answers. Answer that phone. Answer that phone. Let me know that you at home. Now he don't want to answer, really? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three, one, four, three. All right, we'll give him a few minutes, I guess. Maybe he in the bathroom. Maybe he's sitting on the toilet rocking back and forth trying to squeeze one of them things out. Maybe he's trying to pop one. Who never knows? What's up, McDonald? Higher vibrations. Good to see you. So yeah, this um, this deal here. I mean, I, I'm thinking I'm gonna offer in the single digits. 
because I don't know. He, he ain't getting no thirty grand out of me because he said originally he wants thirty five thousand. I already knew he was dreaming when he said that. Then I say, you got any room on it? My boy say, oh, I can do thirty. Lowest I'll take is thirty. Well, you need to chop that down about. Mm, I don't know, not even in half, more than half. You need to chop that down by about 70% off that. Drop that thing down to single single digits. So we ready for him to take that offer. I don't know. He might take it. He probably going to have to say, let me think about it. And normally I would like to have him and his wife there because I don't know if she's really going to be the one to be like, oh, no, oh, yeah. And if he's really, truly motivated, he'll sell it. In fact, let me see, where was this house at? No, nah, this is not too far. I'm going to say my very first wholesale deal wasn't too far from this property, and I sold that one for 9500 We had it under contract for 7200 so, you know, that's some small numbers, you know, for real. I really want to get it lower than that. I want to get it for five grand because I think I could sell it for fifteen. I think I can get fifteen dollars for it, so I need to get it lower than that. I need to get it for about nothing unless he take these turns. He take these turns, we can work with him. We can probably get him up in the, you know, low 20s maybe low to mid twenties if he was willing to take a monthly payment until we pay him off in full, which meaning, you know, sweetheart terms. You can buy, it's only two ways you're going to make money in this business. Cash deals, low, 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 where we beat them up on price. That's some wholesale deals, buying it for cheap. Two is on terms. If you're buying it, you can buy it closer to a retail value. I wouldn't even suggest buying retail, but you can buy closer to it in the event you decide or the seller is open to accepting terms. And sweetheart terms to me is little or nothing down, Low monthly payments for as long as humanly possible. Put that bad boy off for 30 years if you can. Probably ain't going to go that long with this small amount of money. But if I got 10 years, five years, anything out of them, I know I can get some tenant buyer and go to move into this property and uh, give me a down payment to move into it. Matter of fact, we closed a deal this Friday. That's a $9,000 deal this Friday that's closing on a uh, lease option. That's my favorite extra strategy. I love wholesaling, but I love them lease options and those subject to and wraparound mortgages. I love the creative because I get to stay in the deal and get the property, the tax benefits of owning property, you know, the, the depreciation, the appreciation, and everything else to come along with home ownership. So we can wash out all that wholesale money so that our taxes aren't like crazy because it's not about how much you make, it's how much you keep. And we do it like that right here, seven days a week, even when you sleep. So let's see if we can get him on the phone one more time. He should be out there toilet by now. I shouldn't have to blow this man's phone up to get him to answer the dang on the phone. Flames, that's right. Fire. Come on, take this low ball offer, man. Wake up. Wake up, Carlton. I never knew this was going to be this hard to get this dude on his phone. Your call is now, how can you not answer? Should I send him a text message? Carlton, call me back, man. I got good news for you. Yes, yeah, good news and bad news. Good news is we'll buy your house. The bad news is nowhere near no 30000 It ain't happening. I didn't even hit him with, have you thought about listening with a real estate agent? I meant to hit him with that, but, you know, I hit him with that on his closing call. Because he's going to make a decision here today. He's going to make a decision if I can ever get him on the phone. Plus, like I say, I don't know what his uh, wife's going to think about any of this. Cynthia. Cynthia and Carlton. Cindy. Where's Cindy at? Is she there? Get her on the phone, too. Let's lock her up. Because she's going to have to sign off on that closing paperwork. She don't have to sign a purchase agreement, but she will have to sign off on the closing documents in the state of Missouri. They don't play that here. This is a, what they call a community state, something like that. They got to sign off. The husband and the wife, they got to sign off here. They don't play that old, oh, I'm just going to go sell it real quick. Nobody knew. I'm going to slide by and I'm going to keep the money. Nah, not in this state. Not in Missouri. What's up, Lonzi? What up, what up, what up? So I don't know if that's going to work or not on this deal. So I'm probably going to have to um, move on to one of these other people while we're waiting on him to wake up. Um, so I can't get people to answer today. We got the real estate agent don't want to answer that I'm trying to work a deal with. 
this uh, other person don't want to work a deal. Do you invest in other states? Sure do. I actually uh, more so wholesale in other states. We did a wholesale deal up in Virginia. Uh, we had it under contract for 50000 sold it for eighty four. So I made a thirty-four thousand dollars spread on that deal. That's a good deal. We don't even—I don't even get them kind of deals here. I only get, you know, ten, maybe fifteen, sometimes less, you know, depending on what we're doing on the situation. And I was like, damn, that's some good numbers. I need to be in another market. That's a good question. Though. I do need to find another market. What market should I go into? I'm coming into your market. I'm coming where you at. I'm coming down there because I know people in every, you know, state almost just from being on the internet and stuff like that. So boots on the ground can't be too hard to find, right? Where is everybody from anyway? I know y'all be all over the world. Some people on the East Coast. Some people on the West Coast. Well, let's see. West Coast, are y'all woke yet? 9 a.m., 9.13 in California and stuff. From PA, we stay in touch. Got your info from Lonzi. Oh, okay, cool. You know, Pennsylvania. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. You're over there. Um, you're over there near Philly. Or what part? Let's see here. Uh, and you got the info from them. Yep, exactly. Canada. Oh, yeah, I know people be doing deals in Canada. I don't know about wholesaling per se, but I know they be doing deals up in Canada. Or Canada. Do they do that there? Is everything pretty much the same up in Canada? People doing wholesale deals there? Mike in New Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah, there's people doing big deals down there. I had Chevy on my show a couple weeks ago. He's down in uh, Louisiana. Plus, uh, who else I know down in Louisiana? Nonstop Eric, he's down there. Also, um, who was that? O'Neill, my guy O'Neill, he was on a couple of weeks ago. He in Louisiana. Uh, Real Estate Rude, Chris Rude, he was on my show. He out of Louisiana. And I was actually stationed in Louisiana for three years in the military, in the U.S. Army. Whoa, Fort Polk, Louisiana. Let's see, Hartford, Connecticut, brother. Hi, right. Connecticut. I know they, they be high on them uh, closing costs and stuff up there. You got to have your numbers right up in that place. Closing costs will kill you. Transfer tax and all this crazy stuff. Let's see here. Northeast Pennsylvania near Scranton. Oh, you up there from where Joe Biden from? From Crazy Joe. Well, I don't want to call him crazy. I don't want to make you be like, oh, you hate my guy I want to vote for. Crazy Joe. But he out of uh, Scranton. Let's see here. No, nah, I invest in New York land. Oh, all right. Cool, cool. Nothing wrong with that. That's on point. That is definitely on point. Let's see what I got here. What's up, Alliance World? Rawr. It's Alliance World. Good to see you. So let's see here. I don't know. I don't really want to blow that man's phone up. I done called him three times and he won't answer. Uh, let's see here. And it looked like he's been trying to call us since March 9th, looking back into the system here. See, I'm going to let you see what this looks like. So it shows you all the times this person tried to call us. See, he, the first time he came in contact with us was back on March 9th. Then it was an outbound call. They couldn't reach him. And then another outbound call. I guess my VA did that. And then this is the call we did today at 1034. And then this is me trying to call him back multiple times and he won't answer. So funny person. Funny stuff, funny stuff. So are y'all working on any deals? Is there anything I can help you with while we uh, stand by? Any questions you got in, in regards to a deal you working on? Are you working on some deals, Alliance World? I know you working on some deals. Are you marketing? Because, you know, if you stop your marketing, you ain't going to find a deal if you ain't finding them. You got to pull a list somehow or get some bandit signs out somehow or do some cold calling somehow or do some text messaging or somehow or do something to reach some people. And somebody keep calling me private, but I don't know who that is. I don't like private calls. I would answer that they would call the other phone line. But they they keep calling on the phone that I'm actually on. So that's no good. Um, let's see here. I don't think that's this guy calling. Could be. Could not be. Let me try him one more again. No deals right now. You got to be marketing, though. Try to call this dude one more again, and I'm gonna give up for him for a while. What software are you using? Wokesource.com. Wokesource.com. 
find deals all over the United States. MLS data, vacant house data. Yeah, he not answering. I don't know what happened to that. I hope he didn't croak. We ain't even get him under contract yet. Can you sign a contract then croak? I'm just playing. <laughs> For those who don't know, my name is Chris Monroe, the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke. And we're talking that real estate talk, working on a couple of different deals here now. I didn't plan to be on here this long. Let me see how much time we got. 45 minutes. Y'all have kept me on that long? Oh, because this dude won't answer the phone. Okay, so I got another real estate agent I want to call too. Let me see. I don't know. I haven't spoke to this lady. I'm trying to find a creative deal on the MLS. That's my goal for this month. I want to get a creative deal off the MLS. I see some people doing it. So I say, I'm going to try to do it myself. I usually go straight to the seller, but I'm going to go ahead and pay the commission if I have to. Oh, yeah, the dude did call me. No, he didn't call me. That's somebody else. So, yeah, so the system I use is wokesource.com. You can pull a list off of there. You can um, pull your cash bars off of there. It's unlimited data. It's actually more data than you can even process. You can pull up to 10,000 leads per month. You may know of it as PropStream, but you can get the free trial at wokesource.com. Uh, the seven-day free trial, try it out, see if you like it. Once you get it, you're going to say, man, I should have had this the first day I signed up or started doing real estate. Why would I not be using this system with all this information where I can actually pull all this data and know so much before I go into the deal? Even though I go into every deal, even if I know the information, I go into each transaction like I don't know anything by asking good questions, at least 50 questions. We want to know everything about the situation, how much they owe, what they're going to do with the money, why you're selling, what's the deal, the condition of the property of the house. I do a lot of these deals virtually. I lock them up before I even go see the house most of the time. Like that's what I plan to do with this guy or any of these deals, especially with this COVID-19. Because, you know, a lot of people ask, well, how has the COVID-19 hurt your business or stopped you? I already was virtual, baby, even though I'm virtual in my own market. I don't go see them until after we get them under contract, even though we do a few out of the state. But most of the deals are right here in the St. Louis area. Um, so, yeah, that's what I would basically do. I would try to get them under contract before I go see it. Bring a buyer with me. Ain't that more powerful? Lock it up. Bring the people you know that like houses in that area to go see the house, too. Why you got it under contract? And we got a deal right there on the fly, baby. That's how I be trying to do it. Because speed is good. You got to beat out the competition. While we waiting to go see the house this weekend, I'll be the head under contract, assign my contract to an end buyer, got a non-refundable EMD already locked in while you waiting to go see the house. I already got it under contract, baby. I already locked it up. I already ready to go if everything was in a perfect world. It don't always work like that. Because uh, even with this person here we're dealing with, that's an elderly person. Maybe they don't do DocuSign and, you know, doing electronic signatures and all of that stuff. Maybe they don't mess with the Internet. Maybe they only, you know, they're older and they're thinking, that yeah, I need to, I want to meet you. I don't have no problem coming to meet you. I'll come on right now. Just don't put that Rona on me. Put a mask on. Put your mask off. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Are y'all working on anything you need help with right now? Is there any way I could provide you some value right now? Let me see here. So we got a, somebody went and text JV to 31996 while I was on the stream here. Look at that. Text JV to 31996. That's right. That's to be notified of the live stream and get the free joint venture. I I just don't know who keep calling me. I think that's that real estate agent lady keep calling me. Let me try to call her back. This is getting silly now. But I don't think it's her because it wouldn't come in as a block call. I don't know who that is keep calling me blocked. Private number. Oh, well, we only got about 10 minutes on here before this stream ends anyway. Let me try to call her one more again. It's the real estate agent. Real estate, real Hello. estate. Please state your name after the tone. My Google Voice will try to connect you. This is Chris.
Oh, yeah, I guess she ain't going to respond. I guess we'll figure her out at another time. So I'm about to get up out of her here and do some more web stuff. And, uh, yeah, and also to add to your question um, about what software I'm using, actually, uh, oh, that's who keep calling me. I was wondering. They just text me now. Yeah, I got to call them back. Um, yeah, so if you are looking for different lead sources or different ways of what softwares that I recommend to use every day in the business, go to wokerealestates.com. It's the thing going to say that uh, I need leads or marketing. Go to the marketing page, and it'll have a full list of all of the services that I recommend and use. Some of them are free. Some of them have no monthly charges. Some of them are what they are. They are what they are. But there's a whole list at wokerealestate.com. And go there and it says, I want leads. You click on that, and it'll show you a whole list of uh, different services that we recommend. Also, this video is being brought to you by WokeSkipTracing.com. If you're looking to get skip tracing leads as low as 15 cents per match, WokeSkipTracing.com is the website. Check it out. It costs no monthly fees and none of that stuff. Pay as you need it. You can skip trace one lead or a billion leads. It's up to you. WokeSkipTracing.com. You only pay for the ones that match, not for the search, just for the match. All right? Oh, no problem, no problem. So I'm about to go. Make sure you uh, subscribe to this channel, follow this channel, and turn on those post notifications. Post notifications go a long way. Drop those in. And if you're watching the replay, leave a smart comment too. I like to read the comments of the people that watch after the fact. Like, man, that don't work like that. Or, oh, I would have did that different. Or, oh, man, I liked how you did that. I like to read your comments. So do that for me too. Don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat, that's Twitter, that's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's YouTube. Don't forget the YouTube. Do that as well at Chris Monroe STL. Do what you do, be who you be, and I'll see you before you see me.